today we give this baby an oil change but first I need to get myself a 24 millimeter socket so let's go do that gotta love it I dropped my phone, but I'm pretty sure I caught it in my leg. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. I can't believe I caught it between my leg and the tank. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did you guys... What the fuck? I just full fishtailed. What the hell? Oh my god, my heart is beating, guys. Holy shit. My rear end went like totally weightless. It felt like I was in that slide forever. All I did was let off the brake nice and slow and then just cruise through the street. Good thing that lady hit stopped. We practiced locking the brakes at the Midas motorcycle safety course, but I've never done it on this bike. A 10% battery. All right, I'm gonna go in there and buy it and then charge this up when I get home and then we'll do the oil change. All right, guys, we are officially back so the socket i bought is the right size but it wasn't the right size for my ratchet so when i got home i found that out and had to go back and get myself an adapter but now we're good so for the oil change all you need is a funnel some oil of course i use a little bit of uh, isopropyl alcohol to wash out the screen filter 24 millimeter socket and a 9 16 the bottom i don't know what the millimeter is but the 9 16 works perfectly so whatever that's the equivalent of all right first thing i do is get this thing warmed up a little bit that makes it so the oil flows out nice and smooth do a little walk around on the bike while we wait give it a little shake the bolt that has the screen is down here you see this silver one right here that's where the 24 millimeter goes and the screen is right behind that with a spring before i undo either drain screw i like to take out the dipstick a little bit of air from the top lets it fall out quicker as well all right let's turn it off all right we gotta get this bowl down here. Shouldn't be too difficult. See? Not too tight. You just gotta be careful when you take it out. Because there's a spring. There it goes. Look at it flow. That's the bolt right there. Spring. With the filter. Now when you put this back in, this is the way it goes. Screen filter, spring, bolt. Just like that. Put those in there and I'll clean them afterwards. Now, you also gotta do the regular drain which is this one at the bottom. I will put a link into the description to the bolt that I use. I ordered third party magnetic bolt so it catches some shavings. See, it's the red bolt right there. 
That one comes with a washer as well. Make sure you got the washer. You're going to want to clean this one off too. This is also kind of an important part, but you want to shake the bike up a little bit. Because not everything's going to fall out right away. Look at that. That thing is muddy. All right. I'm going to let that sit for a minute. Let it drip out everything it's got while we clean these off. All right. This is simple enough. I use a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. You can probably just wash it out with water too. But should get out all the gunk. Look at that. There's definitely some junk in there. But relatively clean. I thought it was going to be worse, to be honest. All right. I'm going to take that, set it aside. So the other stuff in there for a quick little wash down. Make sure you don't lose the washer. I just clear out any gunk that might be in the threads. It's the most important part. Let's finish what we're doing. So now that everything's clean and we got all the oil out. Oh, there's still a little bit in there. That's why you got to shake it up. Come on, get out of there. Oh, you really want to hit that thing with a good lean both ways. All right, now remember, this is the way it goes. Bolt, spring, filter. Rubber piece on the end, that's what we need. All right, you're probably gonna wanna torque this on by hand at first. All right, that thing is in. Let's get the drain bolt in. Make sure you got the crush washer. Guys know where it goes. This one's really easy to get to. Check the manual for the torque specs. I just give it the old tug. All right, now, final step. Easiest part. Put some oil down the funnel, and then we are good to ride. All right, guys. Hopefully you're enjoying the videos. Got all the links in the description that you would want to know. And I'll see you guys next time. Oh yeah, and it's one quart.